Mic check. All right, we back round two. So, Chaos Pad. I mentioned it in the last video. Korg has also released a Chaos Pad uh, as an effects unit that you can use in your DAW. So yeah, I think that's really cool. Now, I am not familiar with the Korg Chaos Pad. Um, I know it, it has some sampling abilities and you could take those samples and run them through and kind of create all sorts of different cool effects with it. <clears throat> and yeah, um, that's primarily it in terms of what I know about the Chaos Pad. I know I had the, the XY unit. You could touch it and create some movement. I'm going to try that here. Um, I got the grain loaded up. I'm using Kush View Element again because, yeah, I just didn't feel like using anything else to set this up. Try the demo. So. <laughs> So I want to check out different effects that I can use. So... Yikes. So that's cool. You don't get the, again, one thing about using the virtual version of these plugins, you don't get the hands-on feel of actually touching the unit and working out the sounds that way. But as an effects processor, some really cool stuff let's see let's check it out convoluted grains got 12 different paths to work with each of them have different effects already put on and you can change those if you need to let's see you can go here click on the edit knob and yeah, you can edit these parameters. Again, I'm not too familiar with the Chaos Pad. Um, I understand it primarily as an effects unit that you can take, you know, different stuff and modify it through that. And to be able to do that here and use that technology in this format, I think it's, again, it's a welcome addition. Again, you're probably going to lose some of that, that feature set because unless you have a touch screen and you can take your hand on the touch screen and you know manipulate the xy pad that way you're going to have to do everything through a mouse <clears throat> but i do like the fact that again you have everything laid out in front of you in a way that you can see it <laughs> you have four lfos to work with four envelopes and looks like you can put this on. So it's picking up. And because I'm using Kush View, sometimes all of the parameters don't necessarily show up the way they're supposed to. Let's 
Yep, no. So it's not pulling up the way it should. Which is unfortunate. Let me not do that. Let's get out of that. Let me see if I can change the size and see if that'll help. Go to 50%. Click on edit. Yikes. What do you expect, right? Click on oscillator. But yeah. I know the original Chaos Pad, or at least the KP3, did have an oscillator engine. I do know that at one point they they took the regular Chaos Pad, and because it was so popular, they turned around and had the Chaos Oscillator, which generated its own tones. And a lot of people took the oscillator and the Chaos Pad and put them together, and you could create some real cool sounds. Stepping FM, let's see. That might be too loud, and I apologize if it is. Let's put this back up. So you can hold it in, in place if you like exactly where or what that effect is doing at that particular spot. So you don't have to keep, you know, clicking on the mouse. <laughs> no, this is cool. I apologize if I'm being very quiet. Let's see. Let's do a couple more. We got filters. All right. We got isolators, flange filters, degraded filters, notch filters. Let's do that flange filter. Go back. Seven. All right. So you got your filters, you got your coloring distortions. Destroy distortion drum loop noiser. Let's try that one. Give you some noise, give you some instability in a sound that's cool Let's see what this one does that's cool got some delays Reverse delay. That's cool. All right. We got chaos. All right. Convolved grains. I think I messed with that one. Pitch, trill, total destruction. Oh, sheesh. All right. My bad. Yep, you might want to be careful with your speakers on this one. I apologize if I jack up your headphones all the time. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So yeah, I would use this as, <laughs> I mean, it is what it is, an effects unit. And if you want to get some sounds that are definitely more out there, or just a different way of expanding your sound palette altogether, um, I would take a look at this. Um, 
you can get it as part of the the new collection of synths because again Korg just upgraded their you know their plugins to add this and you know I would check it out demo it because you can use it for about 20 minutes before they cut you off let's see we got modulation let's see color where you did that looper back and forth yeah so there are quite a bit of options here to get you started and yeah I apologize like how you would use these all in conjunction um, I imagine you could get really creative in, in taking a sample or waveform and modifying it to to make it into something a little bit different but yeah this is definitely a powerful effects unit I would check it out um, for those of you who have used the chaos pad um, you know kp3 kp3 plus or the quad um, you know let me know what you think about this and how this VST holds up to those units um, <clears throat> Obviously, again, you lose some of the tactile feel, but, you know, this seems like a very good unit in its own right for, you know, mangling sounds. Um, I, again, I apologize. I don't know too much about the KP3. Um, and I do know and understand that the KP3, the, the layout is very different compared to what you got going on here. But this is fairly simple to use um, once you just hook it up you know, you hook up your plug into it and and start moving through it. Start recording it and you know go from there and, and see what you can get. Alright, man. Thank you for watching this video. I'm Tim Keys. I am out. Peace.